All right, we got another mailbag, so we're fixing to go through this. If you want to see what we got, stick around. All right, we got another uh, mailbag here. Uh, if you want to find out what we got, just stick around. Going to be going through some uh, stuff we got and talking a little bit about the giveaway. We'll be right back. Okay, first off, uh, I've already done a review on one of these soldering irons. And I have uh, four more here. I think three of them are orange and one of them is uh, gray, I think. Or black, maybe. Um, so, uh, the, and the reasons, I've, I got a bunch of them that was included free. Uh, I don't even remember what the promotion was. But again, all this is from Timu. So, uh, these eventually are all going to be in a giveaway. And there's some other stuff that I've got. And I think the way I'm going to do the giveaway is... Uh, going to be uh, like three items and we will uh, take and draw three names and uh, that one's not even marked we'll draw three names and then uh, the three items there will be a video on the three items ahead of time that's going to be in the drawing um, so we'll get into it uh, at the time of the drawing, draw three names, um, and the first place winner will be able to pick out what of the three items they want. Second place gets the next pick, and the third place gets the third item that's left over. Now, and, and I still haven't decided what all is going to be the three items to begin with, but right now I'm thinking uh, at least one of these soldering irons um uh, i've got a dmm tweezer uh like a, a little multimeter i think it does all the basic stuff that a, a digital multimeter does except it's tweezers um and i've got some other stuff so just look back through all the reviews and everything and kind of see where you see i've got multiples of stuff uh probably probably a soldering iron one of the micro uh, screwdrivers um, and the DMM tweezer probably something like that but uh, by the time I, I get all that configured set up and ready to go I will uh, I'll, I'll nail that down so anyway that's the uh, that's the soldering iron so definitely one of these uh, will be in that drawing all right so here it's always amazing how small or how big the Timu ads can look and the items are so small. I think they're masters at making you know something huge in somebody's I got or they got tiny hands, I don't know. So uh it says product is smartphone adapter. Okay, so no it's not It is a clamp that you can call a smartphone adapter, which I really like this. And I think this is going to be my main one to hold the, uh, the phone uh, that you don't actually see up there. Um, it's dovetailed. Uh, I don't have any camera bases available at the moment to test this in. Uh, but I would be willing to bet it's probably a standard uh, camera base. But it is threaded, and I think most all this stuff is threaded quarter 20, uh, just like camera threads. So you have one that way to where you can mount a phone or whatever you want to clamp in there uh, in landscape mode. And you also have another one here, which is how that phone is mounted up there uh, to hold it like this. So... Uh, really have no use for that at the moment, but it may come in handy. I really like this because it will accommodate really wide phones. And it opens pretty quick by this uh, hand wheel. So 
this is the Android phone and it is much wider than my iPhone there and you can see it fits in here real good and it's still not open all the there we go that's as far as you can open it so there you have that and and you have a good probably a half inch maybe a little over a half inch and this phone is three and a half inches wide with the case so you've got a good actual uh, four inch at least gap there yeah you're right at four inch a four inch gap that you can hold in there so my hand my hand fits in there nicely so this is going to be a good uh, a good solid base I think uh, looks like the plastic it's just looks like it's probably just stuck on there but no big deal uh, it looks like it's on there pretty solid too this whole this whole clamp is aluminum anodized red because of course red is my absolute favorite color uh, solid this feels smooth it's not gritty uh, I really I really think this is going to be nice I've also got a, a larger one coming that will hold uh, iPads and so uh, and plus a lot of other uh, attachments to be able to mount cameras and stuff like that so we're gonna uh, we're gonna see how all that stuff works out I'll show it to you this stuff right here I, I don't really know if y'all really even care to see stuff like this uh, it's just that hey I got it let you know that they do have it at Timu and I think this ain't but like a couple of dollars so uh, I think it's a, a really good thing um, I definitely I definitely wish I had more of them so all right okay I'm showing both of these together uh, so if you're looking on Timu and you see these linear rails they look really big that's how big they are so just to give you an idea and then of course again red being my favorite co color uh, I got this because I mean this was like 99 cents I think so I grabbed this one so my this is the plan I've got the uh, micro screwdrivers and I've also got some adapters for being able to push uh, screw thread I don't know what you call them but screw thread uh, adapters into 3d prints uh, to be able to screw pieces together and so I wanted to do two things. I wanted to make a drill press out of one of these for the micro screw dry, uh, micro drill, and I wanted to, to make a uh, heat press for those inserts out of one of these. And I'm going to 3D print the structure that's going to be used for it. And so that'll be a whole a whole thing where it's will go through, and I'll, I'll most likely use FreeCAD. Uh, because I'm most comfortable using FreeCAD. I do have, uh, what is that other one? Uh, it's Fusion 360, but I just, I didn't commit to it because I'm afraid that like one day you're going to have to pay for it to keep it. So I, I'm, I learned how to use uh, FreeCAD, and I, I believe that even if that ever ever did become and, and let me tell you what yes free cat is aggravating but once you get a hang of it it's really easy to use so um, it's uh, we're, we're going to use it to develop the basis for each of these that we're going to we're going to do we're going to go through the whole process of, of designing that developing that and those files will be I don't know where I'm going to post them but I'll have the, those posted somewhere when that video uh, gets made uh, we'll print them through the bamboo lab printers and assembly and all that kind of stuff. So I, it, depending on how long it is, because my mouth runs on and on and on, um, it may be in multiple parts. So uh, we will, uh, I'll try to keep you updated, maybe posting on the uh, channel, the channel page, uh, as, as far as the giveaway. And I think I'm going to quit saying stuff in the videos on the giveaways 
uh, and just post on the, the web page. So uh, it, as far as that goes right now would be a awesome time for you to like and subscribe uh, if you would. That would be a tremendous help for the channel. Uh, so I would definitely appreciate it if you could find your way to, uh, to do that. All right, so here we have a video, a video card. Uh, I showed the sound card, and this is, or the external sound card, and uh, I'm going to figure out how to use that before I actually do a video on it. But this right here, I got this specifically to hopefully be able to somehow hook my cell phone into my monitor that's up there so I can actually see this instead of using my watch to try to kind of look at it and see what's going on. Uh, but basically this has a, it says it's 4K, uh, but you've got a place for a headphone speaker, and then you tie it into your computer, and then you have an output or two outputs here, uh, HDMI outputs. Which hopefully, uh, I don't know. I can I can. Let's see. How's that? I think it's. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It, I'm sorry. It is labeled. You have an input uh, HDMI and an output HDMI. So uh, this would go out to the monitor and hopefully I can figure out how to tie a Apple iPhone into this so that it can also go in and I can have some stuff tied into the uh, to the computer and get a little a little more high tech hopefully uh, and make things look a little better. So the specs on this I'll tell you what, we're not going through specs. And this right here is, I mean, it's just a cord. It's a OTG cable, uh, which is, for anybody that doesn't know, a on-the-go cable which I can use this on the sound card uh, and that's what this cable is, is for so I may be doing some stuff with my Android uh, cell phone to try to because it's it, I don't have a new iPhone and I have no way of tying USB-C into that iPhone so let's check out the next thing okay now this one I think is pretty cool And of course, it's got Finerci on it. There will be a review on this, but this is an LCR tweezer. And uh, the reviews that I've seen so far on YouTube are pretty good. I think it's going to be pretty accurate. It actually comes with curved tips as well as straight tips. So be looking out for the, uh, the review on this. So, again, uh, I definitely appreciate you guys uh, spending your precious time with me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope uh, you can see some stuff here that you would like to see the review on when it comes out. So, uh, if you don't mind, again, I'd like to ask you if you can see your way fit. Uh, if you could like and subscribe, it would be a tremendous help to the channel. Uh, I thank you. Uh, for your time and God bless